South Africa's African National Congress ANC on Wednesday was heading for its worst election result since taking power in 1994. Taking less than half of votes in local polls, a top party official described as a message to ship up. With results in over 80% of more than 23,000 polling stations, the ANC had 46% of the national vote, down from 54% in 2016, itself the worst result yet. Party officials acknowledged public anger over poor services and corruption. Turnout was at a new low of 47%, though still higher than in many Western countries' municipal elections from 58% in 2016, initial electoral commission figures showed. It was unclear to what extent the COVID-19 pandemic played a role in keeping people away, but ANC officials saw clear evidence of voters being fed up. Algeria has accused its arch rival Morocco of killing three Algerians on a desert highway as tensions escalate between the neighbors over contested Western Sahara. Three Algerians were assassinated in a barbaric strike on their trucks, Algeria's president said in a statement quoted by the APS state news agency. It reported they had been traveling between the Mauritanian capital, northeast to the Algerian city of Ouagla. Several factors indicate that the Moroccan occupation forces in Western Sahara carried out this cowardly association, assassination beg your pardon, with a sophisticated weapon. The statement added, the killings will go unpunished. Now foreign news. The European Parliament's first official delegation to Taiwan said on Thursday the diplomatically isolated island is not alone and called for a border action to strengthen EU-Taiwan ties as Taipei faces rising pressure from Beijing. Taiwan, which does not have formal diplomatic ties with any European nations except tiny Vatican City, is keen to deepen relations with members of the European Union. The visit comes at a time when China has ramped up military pressure, including repeated missions by Chinese warplanes near democratic Taiwan, which Beijing claims as its own and has not ruled out taken by force. The Ukrainian parliament on Thursday voted to appoint President Volodymyr Zelensky's nominee, Oleski Reznikov, as the new defense minister. A 55-year-old former lawyer and deputy prime minister, Reznikov, will replace Andriy Taran, who resigned this week after his track record on reforms was criticized by lawmakers from both the ruling and opposition parties. The appointment comes as Ukraine said Russia had left military units near Ukraine's border after exercises, with the number of Russian troops in the area now totaling 90,000. The United States said the Russian troop movements were significant but not overtly aggressive. 